my parents were very into the idea of learn by doing, and they gave me lots of enrichment toys, which were popular at that time. These were toys that had lots of little pieces that you could put together. Uh, I would augment my inventory by going through the neighborhood and bringing back either electronic things like radios or bicycles and take them apart and add to my inventory of, uh, of, of pieces. And I had this idea that, gee, if I could just figure out how to put them together in the right way, I could create transcendent effects. Now, I didn't have that vocabulary. Uh, I can remember the feeling. It was a magical feeling, like, wow, there's, there's a secret here. I could just figure out how to put them together. We could solve any problem. Um, and I did not succeed, really, in doing that uh, at age five. Uh, I remember one of my first projects was to build a rocket ship to the moon. And I built, actually, a very nice nose cone, but and I figured, well, I'll, I'll figure out how to, the propulsion system later. When I got to be eight, I had actually some systems that worked. It was, I built a robotic puppet theater that uh, I had a command station with little gears and levers and I could command the world from my command station. I could move the sun and the stars and people on or off the stage and clouds and I could move their, their arms and, and heads. I was in control of the world remotely. It was kind of a virtual reality world and I showed it at school and people thought it was pretty cool. Uh, that was age eight. Uh, but I actually remember thinking, I'm going to be an inventor. And other kids were wondering what they were going to do. They're going to be a teacher, a fireman, a nurse. I had this conceit, I know what I'm going to be. If you guys enjoyed this show, you can help me make it better in a couple of ways. You can go and write a review on iTunes, or you can simply make a donation.